I am your Unstoppable You coach. And what I do is I get you unstuck and move you forward in your life. And I use this time to speak about, you know, life in general, experiences that I've experienced or maybe my clients have experienced, uh, feminine power, spirituality, and then I give you coaching on that. So I want to speak about, um, I, the other day I listened to uh, this gentleman on the summit named Naveen Jain, and he's founder and CEO of uh, Viome, and he created basically a test uh, for your own uh, microbiome and your own system. And then um, you get uh, recommendations and you get um, food supplements to, for your individual microbiome. Anyway, as he was speaking and telling his story, he, um, he said something really powerful. And what he said was, um, the minute you say, I can't, you are no longer in the solution business. So let me say that again. The moment you say, I can't, you are no longer in the solution business. Now that is powerful. And I wanna speak into, I can't. Um, I mean, we all as, whether you're a teacher, a parent, a business owner, or in some sort of leadership role, uh, as you know, we all speak into I can't, right? So when someone says it, we speak into it. So when a kid says I can't, we give them support and show them how to do it. Like I can't do my homework. Uh, we give them support around that. And when our partner says I can't over and over, you know, we either accept it or we walk away. No solution. Or when we say I can't, I can't do something. Well, we don't follow through on our, with our dreams and our aspirations. So the moment you take, I, you say I can't is when you're out of the solution business. And language is powerful. You know, it makes sense of very intricate systems. It expresses how we feel. It gives people a feeling of security and understanding. And I always say the system of coaching, the language of coaching allowed me to make sense of what I was feeling and gave me strategies to get out of the fear and anxiety, you know, after my fiance passed away. But there are other words and other sentences that keep us out of the solution business, okay? I don't have enough time. I don't know where to start. It's too hard. Um, I don't have the money. I'm too overwhelmed, but it's his fault. But I love him or but I love her. You know, these keep us out of the solution business. And we call these things our problems. I don't have enough money is one of our problems, right? So, and I'm too overwhelmed. It's a problem, right? So these problems keep you where you're at. They keep you stuck. And we're here to get you unstuck. So we're going to work on this. See, solutions, solutions for us to be in the solution business, it has to come from our willingness to imagine the possibilities. Our willingness to imagine the possibilities. I didn't say ability to imagine the possibilities. I use willingness because we all have the ability to use our imagination. But do we have the courage? Are we willing to imagine a better life, a better way of being? Do we have the courage to imagine more for our life? Because the solutions are just outside of our comfort, comfort zone, right? You're one step away from success when you leave your comfort zone. When you stop and your comfort zone is interestingly enough, I don't have enough money. I'm too overwhelmed. Um, I can't, um, you know, I, it, but I love him, right? All these things are actually your comfort zone. So I'm gonna, the best piece of advice I heard was, is, <laughs> don't be impressed by the problem. 
Like, don't make that the most important part of any situation. Take note of the problem. I'm too overwhelmed to write my book. I'm too overwhelmed to start my business. But don't be impressed by it. Like, don't invest too much time in it. Because remember, that is just, that takes you right out of your solution. The minute you say, I'm too overwhelmed, you're out of the solution uh, business, right? And you're in your comfort zone. So to get out of your comfort zone, to get you into your uh, solution business is ask yourself, what is being too overwhelmed keeping me from? Is it keeping you from your dream business, your dream relationship? Uh, is it keeping you from your spirituality, right? Uh, and then how are you benefiting from being overwhelmed? I always say we don't... We don't do something for nothing. We're benefiting somehow. It's keeping you safe. It's doing something. And then what is being overwhelmed costing you? So what is I don't have enough money actually costing you? What is but I love him actually costing you? I mean, don't let but I love him actually keep you in your comfort zone and keeping you from having a loving relationship with a man who respects and loves you. You know, don't let, um, I don't know where to start. How about that one? Keep you in limbo because that will keep, and comfort zone might be in limbo. If you're straddling the fence all the time and you can't make decisions, that might be your comfort zone. And don't let, ha I don't have enough money steal away your opportunity to invest in yourself, in your business, and in your family. So today I decided, you know what, I'm going to pay it forward today with these drops of wisdom that I got and I received and really made me really think, oh my God, yeah, it's time. It's time, people. It's time to get unstoppable, move the needle forward in our life. So number one, don't be impressed by the problem. And number two, the moment you say, I can't, or any of the excuses above that I spoke about, you are officially out of the solution business. So, all right, everybody go out there and have an unstoppable day. And thanks for listening. Bye.